So this is a quick unboxing hands-on video of the Galaxy J1 which has a 4.3 inch screen, 1.2 GHz dual-core processor and has 512 MB of unusually low RAM. Also I found that it shares an almost identical trim with the new Galaxy Tab series. The first thing you are going to see inside the box is the phone itself and mine is colored white. When I first got it on my hands I felt that it feels extremely slippery compared to other smartphones of Samsung. Other things you are going to find inside the box is a warranty card with a user manual and what looks like a generic hands-free headphone set. The battery is a small one rated to 4.4 volts, 1850 milliamps. What's left inside is a USB connection cable and a wired charger for reasons that I don't get. It's rated to 5 volts and 700 milliamps. Now I'm gonna place the battery in the back cover and we're ready for a small review. When you start to use it, the new wallpapers give you a first look, but the TouchWiz interface is the same thing on all the entry-level Android cell phones of Samsung. It's running Android 4.4.4 and I don't think Samsung plans to update it anytime soon. I can't yet say anything about battery life, but it seems to hold as much as it should on the first charge. The worst part of the Galaxy J1 is the low RAM it has. It might seem so fine that you might forget about it, but it's freezing at many parts and applications like Facebook and Instagram. I tried to run Antutu benchmark, but it seems to be crashing towards the end. However, it's very known to be in the 13K range. It's a nice phone for basic gaming and its screen is very satisfying for its price. The viewing angles I can say that they are just perfect. Even though I actually like its style, I don't think it's worth its price. Maybe at 60 bucks it's going to be alright, but at 150 bucks I will definitely pick a Lenovo or Sony. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.